imported from Newfoundland wood stove. Nothing like it in history. Oh, that door. For the low price of $39.95. Figure we ought to build our own version. <laughs> Gotta let that warm up for a second. Treat her right, you know? I think the real key to success in any fine woodworking project is the right selection of appropriate tools. What wood would make a good wood stove? Something that's been properly stored. Well, welcome to today's lumber yard. What do you ladies have in stock? They don't usually have a lot of inventory, but I think today they have what we need. Is the price right? Plenty wide enough to get some decent pieces out of. Now before anybody goes and gets upset or fancies himself a Pinterest internet woodworker, we're not sacrificing some beautiful slab of wood. If you haven't noticed, we got no shortage of this stuff. And this didn't make it into framing material because she's a little rotten in the middle. Now a couple things that caught my eye about this wooden wood stove. One, just the eco responsibility. I mean, a wood stove made of wood. I mean, it doesn't get any friendlier than that. And then my mind secondly was immediately drawn to concern and I thought, well, I don't want a wooden wood stove that's full of fasteners because in the off chance that it doesn't contain the fire forever, I don't see why it wouldn't. I don't want these metal fasteners ending up, you know, maybe in the place that uh, I might be driving my rubber tired vehicle. So we're gonna go, what I'm calling, ultra traditional method here, minimal tools and no fasteners of the metal variety. We're going freestyle, just based off of that picture. Um, you know, guy can only plan so far ahead with such a serious project. Had to start wearing two different color of gloves. I kept forgetting which hand was the right and which hand was the left. <laughs> Oh well, it's no skill saw, but uh, it's a lot more fun. I think it's pretty easy to uh, get started when you have no plan. You just start with what seems logical and getting ourselves some square boards. Square-ish. So we're gonna keep it close to the picture-ish. Um, so I got tons of material here, so we're gonna go 30 inches will give me four pieces for the two sides one for the top one for the bottom It's gonna need a back some sort of door. You know the details. You know what a wood stove entails We'll get it roughed out. I think it'd be cool. I don't know what we're gonna do for a chimney uh, It's got to be wooden as well as the picture dictates <laughs> That'd be all the sides, the top to bottom. We need a back and we'll need a door. Hmm. We're gonna have to hurry up here. I might freeze to death before I get our wood stove built. Those two chalk lines just mean that this just got a lot fancier. I hope no one's offended. I'm gonna cheat on the chainsaw a little bit. We're gonna want some precision fit because you know, a high efficiency wood furnace, if it has too many air gaps, well, you can't control the rate of burn. And uh, I mean, we need this thing to be a, a long lasting apparatus. I'd like to tell you that uh, this is the smell of fresh cut wood, but it kind of smells like something peed all over it. And I know what you're thinking, oh, that plank, and that was for the goats. One, we don't leave that kind of stuff in the corral in the wintertime because I'm not plowing around it. So it gets cleaned up every year anyways before the heavy snow flies and they didn't seem to like this plank. I don't know, they're fussy, you know? So we set up a new adventure kind of gymnasium for them every so often and spice up their life. But uh, they didn't like this one, so we're gonna burn it. Might need that actually. 
What for? I don't know, but we might need that. Ooh, that's good. A little more connecting in it. Well, this might take a bit of gymnastics here. Anybody have any uh, initial thoughts? It's, uh, it might require a couple clams. You know, for a guy that doesn't take a lot of time to do a ton of woodworking, I got a lot of clams. If this is taken away from the, uh, the natural uh, bushcraft feel of building this wood stove, well, so be it. Get a little tension on all four corners before we start sucking her down because this thing is fixing to take off. Oh man, I love it when a plan comes together. Whilst I was digging through my treasure trove looking for these four clamps, I found a piece of dowel material. Now, you know, for the sake of the video, we we're gonna get real traditional. I was gonna cut some kindling and uh, make some dowels. Look at that, it's too good to be true. One inch, we're drilling our size for size. Uh, what did I go in? I went in about the length of the bit. We'll cut her off something like that. Cutting device, get your fingers out of the way. Geez, we might have to cut some dowel. I don't know how many of those I'm gonna need and I'm going in rather deep. Now just to get her started, because it's gonna meet the two surfaces in there, I think we'll just give her a chamfer just to get it started. Well, I'm not entirely convinced that, uh, you know, the one in the picture that I showed you, that they went to this kind of trouble, but they probably didn't have this much fun either. Oh, plenty. You know, you could hang your socks on those though to dry them out when the wood stove's ripping, so that's okay. I got smart about it and cut them all at the same time. What are you looking at? This wood stinks because you peed all over it. I'll tell you, this is, it's not a love-love relationship with a goat. If you own goats, you know what I'm talking about. It's very one-sided. Well, this will be where the rubber meets the road. Can we take the clamps off without it falling apart? We gotta do something about these pegs though. They're sticking out. Looks unprofessional. Perfecto. Now, I feel like we're gonna stick with the low hanging fruit because the door gets a little bit more complicated and a chimney hole, well, that's almost too easy. So we're gonna do the back. You want a good tight fit, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna end for end this baby. We'll do the old tracing cut. Something akin to a project you would have learned in kindergarten. Real simple, cut on the line. Oh, and I'm too short now. How are we gonna resolve that? I can't, uh, I can't reach for the old cut and scribe. I'll have to fashion some sort of stepladder. You know, I don't even know why I put the tractor away parts away through a project. It's good for everything. Hopefully I got it, because I'll never get that to line up ever again. Let's move our giant orange step stool here and then uh, we'll get the skill saw on. Snug as a bug in a rug. If you're enjoying watching this, just imagine how fun it is to do it. Just go outside right now, cut something down, make a wood stove out of it, fill your boots. Got quite a bit of workbench left to, uh, to deal with here. Got a new battery, we're still cutting that out, but we also ran out of dowel. Now, I found some, some more dowel. I think 
This might come in handy for the door. Too small to finish the pins, but I did have a bunch of these because I save everything. So these are, well, they gotta be dang near what we need, aren't they? They're one inch across. We just gotta cut the ears off them. And I'm sure with a little persuasion, we could drive them home. So with any luck, this will be the front. I did the same fashion, the scribe and cut, because I think we'll make a real tight fit. And then I don't, I don't think we want the whole front to open. I got a little bit of a plan to just cut a little window hole out and uh, keep the front door, how do we say, tasteful. Take the chisel knife approach here and just round it out of here. In theory, that should drive in just past that knot. Well, I'll tell you, it feels more authentic anyways, the uh, handmade dowel. So right up to the knot, with any luck. Definitely gonna wanna use a square on the ice because that's what makes sense. Oh my God, I think it looks appropriate for that size of stove. Guy can shove a decent amount in there. I don't overcut it too much. Anywhere you overcut, you know, it'll leave a groove which it could draw air in, shorten the life of the stove. Might have gotten greedy with how tight a fit that is. Well, that'd be uh, why it was difficult coming out. It's going to chamfer the backside so it can do its swingy swing. This is turning out so good. Just beautiful. Oh, and it needs a little handle. We'll put a little handle on front. I actually think we should leave as much ice on the uh, front of this thing as possible. I think it'll uh, give it that much more of a chance. Whoop, that's hammer drill mode. Uh, that we want to cut off gently because I want the handle to stay a handle. This is just shaping up beautifully. The door is done. A little backtracking though, as goes a, a, any project that doesn't actually have a plan. You're gonna find yourself figuring it out as you go. We had a cute little door in the center and I thought, isn't that just cozy, eh? We wanna just, you know, keep it confined. We ran into a major malfunction. I got a little bit of a surprise for the end of the video of what we're gonna put in the wood stove. I didn't think it would fit through the door. That end. <sighs> now we can fit proper firewood in there. So we got the two door system hinged, of course. I mean, the craftsmanship is just oozing out of this project. So with that part done, comes the exhaust portion. What's a good wood stove without a good chimney? Look at that chisel work. I feel like this is getting too elaborate, but uh, is there such a thing? I mean, you just get wrapped up in the beauty of the project. Can you believe our good fortune? The chimney was hiding in this slab pile the whole time. I was thinking, before a guy gets too wild with the chimney and makes this thing any heavier than it already is, we should move it over onto some sort of platform that isn't plastic sawhorses because, well, it wouldn't wood stove. It wouldn't sit atop plastic sawhorses, now would it? Now, you know, you gotta be real careful with wood stoves. There's rules and regulations. You don't wanna be skirting these issues because, uh, you know, you don't want things to burn down. I thought, why don't we make some nice legs and we'll dowel them in and it'll look fancy. I thought, I got some, uh, I got some branches off a spruce tree over there. They got the nice knurled knots and bulbs and humps on. I thought, man, that'd be decorative, eh? Cause at the end of the day, a freestanding wood fireplace is a real decorative piece. But you know, safety concerns. I just thought them little spindly legs and the weight of this epic wood stove didn't seem safe. So. I had these custom beauties kicking around. Nice solid construction. <sighs> Spruce. Might even be from the same tree this wood came from. So it's a match set, a little more stable and a lot more robust. Just a pro tip here if you're a homeowner setting up your own wood stove. If, uh, if you don't level the stove, then the smoke will tend to run the wrong direction. It might not go up the chimney. So get that on that ice hump there. I figured we got the right grade on it. A couple custom notches here for uh, for the chimney material, uh, so it fits in that slot on the top. I don't know what you're thinking. You're looking at this material, right? You go, huh, that's only single wall chimney. 
When you're putting in wood stove, there's single wall and then there's double wall. Well, the single wall, well, a little more prone to making things catch a flame. So we're gonna have to be real careful in this situation because we're only be running single wall pipe. So you always wanna keep the ice to the outside too. You don't want that moisture dripping down and putting your fire out. We'll have to hold that chimney together with something. We gotta stay in true fashion. We said no, no metal fasteners. So we gotta make some pins. You got a cross pin here too, driven in sideways down to the top because you know, you wouldn't want the wind to blow the chimney over. So now she's pinned to the main body. <sighs> Sturdy, I'll tell ya. Well folks, this is the part we've all been waiting for. I think we're about ready to test fire it. The real reason you're watching how sturdy that is. See, look at the whole thing moving. That is firmly attached. Not a single metal fastener in the works. The flyer that we based this off of said, guaranteed to burn for hours. Wink, wink. Uh, I think we're gonna get a couple minutes out of this. It's super thick. These are two inches thick, these slabs. And uh, well, the quality of the wood's working in our favor. Everything's frozen and covered in ice, so it ought to gain us a few minutes. How'd I choose the chimney height? Well, it's above my head. I don't want to fog up the glasses. I'm pretty excited about this. That's some mighty frozen wet wood. The wood's a bit of a struggle, but watch this. So we got, we actually have, we got a lot of smoke leakage out the cracks, but watch this. I close that. It all but stops. And then the draw out the chimney is awesome. <laughs> Look at, there's no smoke coming out of any of these holes. Fire's still going. Chimney's working. I brought a couple of seasoned blocks down. I guess we can store the firewood on top of the stove. There's an upside over a traditional stove. You can't store the wood on top. Uh, but this one, I, I don't see how it would hurt. It's uh, snapping and cracking fairly aggressively. So if we want this to last for, you know, a good wood stove is gonna last for decades, you know? It's a generational thing. You put it in a cabin, it's gonna be there for years and years to come. You know, and if we are looking to get this kind of life out of our wooden friend here, I don't think we can feed it too much of the fuel. Oh, that door, oh boy, oh it's hot. Oh, we got flame coming out the door. Oh no. Oh man, would you? <laughs> Look at this. Look at the turbo charge coming out of this thing. Uh, I think we best keep her damper down um, or the fun is gonna be over in real short order. All right. The smoke will die down in a sec once we cut the choker down. That could be problematic. That could be problematic indoors, you know, so this design could use some refinement, but uh, you know, overall, chimney's a good height. The air's fresh down here. I know what they're always on about wood smoke and particulate, you know? It smells good to me. Keeping the mosquitoes down. A little bit of a leakage here. Maybe we'll just, there we go. Yeah, that's perfect. See, it's just about finding the right material. You got a little leakage. There we go. See? That fixed those. That actually worked. <laughs> I was being a smart ass. That worked really good, actually. It's boiling the water out of the chimney. I bet you could hear it, actually. You hear it? It's 
proving hard to control. All right, friends, she's a runaway. Uh, if we want our fun to last more than about three seconds, we're gonna try our hand at a little bit of a chimney damper here. You know, I did that. I did that thing where I, uh, I really gave her the juice. I might have had the Milwaukee blower on it to get it going, and uh, well, the plan was to start a small fire, but because you got to fish a little bit of this out. Whoa, hotsy totsy. This is why in a cabin scenario, you'd have it on a hearth, you know, a stone or, or brick or something, because, well, I'll tell you, you could start something on fire by accident. This is real important. Now, I know you're gonna be watching, you're not gonna be following along, but this is gonna be critical. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try with a little bit of ice is that we're just gonna put the front of the stove out because, man. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit more in here on the front. Okay, friends. Okay, you folks keep an eye on things. I'm gonna be back in a flash. We got something, we got something special to finish this off with. Man, I'm so excited. I'm having such a good time here. What do we have here? A spruce stomper loaf of bread. That's right, folks. I thought, well, how much fun would it be to cook ourselves up a little bush craft loaf of bread? It might taste like smoke. <sighs> All right, folks, I'm not gonna lie. This could pose a serious challenge. Got a beauty loaf of bread there. And, well, let's just check here. Uh, well, the readout on this oven says 375. I don't actually know the temperature to cook bread at, but I'm assuming that that's close enough. Uh, because, well, if you see our heat control knobs here, uh, they don't really do anything so we got smoke coming out of everywhere some of it's steam though uh which could be good it'll help keep the bread moist let's see if we can just slip this inside where we rinsed her down with the snow hopefully it's not a flame and uh mm, hopefully we're enjoying a delicacy here in about i don't know how long's bread take 20 minutes oh i don't know about this this could be one of them deals that seemed a lot better on paper see now we let her down die down too much we gotta get a little heat going back there again. Throw these nuggets back in. Can you guys see that in there at the back? She's found a soft spot in the old goat plank and carved itself out a little notch. Okay, I, I went over to the Tupperware drawer here and I got a lid crafted, all natural materials, that's nice. Uh, I might hinder the bread from rising a notch, but uh, it is a hot fired mess in there. And, uh, oh, that's gonna be good. We wanna keep this as nice as possible. God. If anybody's watching that doesn't know what these blue tarps are full of, that's, it's full of lumber. You guys should stick around because we got some awesome videos coming up on what we're gonna use it for. Fire's leaking out the back. Legs are in good shape. I'd say the legs are about the sturdiest part. Uh, the front door burned off. Right about there, right about there. Anywhere where she can suck extra oxygen, it's uh, it's taken full advantage. Let's just hit a couple of pros and cons while we wait for the bread to cook. I did get a timer, we're roughly keeping track. Essentially self-fueling. I mean, a huge pro. I haven't packed any firewood. I brought some blocks down. Didn't even need them. Haven't touched them one time. In fact, if you guys keep it on the down low, Spruce Stomper might have just came up with a solution to the energy crisis. I mean, if you got a wood stove that fuels itself, I mean, where could the end really possibly be? <sighs> Chimney design, yeah, maybe seal up a little bit, eh? What's a natural product you could seal up the cracks? A Little bit of mud, maybe? A Little bit of mud? Uh, a mud liner, perhaps, and we would have gotten at least an extra 20 minutes out of the whole operation. Uh, cons? Well, I think the cons, I think it would ruin the drapes if you put it inside your cabin. Um, it might just, uh, might just smoke it up a little bit. Uh, it puts out, I don't know, I don't know, marginally more smoke than say your, your grandfather's cigarettes or somebody smoking a tobacco pipe. It's just a little bit worse than that, so you might be able to get away with it. Chimney could have been taller, maybe a con. Pro, it's warm. I mean, you're not gonna freeze to death. Look at this. 
And if your wood is covered in ice, look at this, purified, natural, organic snow water uh, that's been distilled by an all natural wood stove. I mean, you folks that are just eating vegetables for a living, uh, this might be your ticket because there is nothing but natural product opportunity here with this wood stove. I mean, we've developed a serious ventilation hole down there. I think the biggest pro of the whole wood and wood stove is it's wildly entertaining. Um, it gave you uh, definitely something constructive to do and it's aesthetically pleasing. Check the time. Don't wanna let the bread get away on you. It's about time to check. We'll lift up our uh, cutting board cover. We'll have a look-see. I feel like an oven mitt might have been a good idea. One of them paddles like the, a pizza maker might have. How am I gonna get that out of there? If we just leave this for just a hair, okay? Patience is a virtue, they say. So when you feel like you're right on the verge of the perfect loaf of bread, just give it a second more and uh, give it a chance to turn into a, a black crisp. It absolutely looks beautiful. Uh, we just gotta figure out how we're gonna uh, retrieve. Actually, I'll be right back with safety first here because I'm legit, I'm joking about it, but I'm thinking how the heck am I gonna grab that hot pan? I'll be right back. All right, we've procured the uh, proper PPE approved safety device bread grabbing pliers here. Okay, easy on. I don't want that last door to break off. I'd like to close this back up again. Gentle. Okay, now, to the untrained eye, this might look easy, but I guarantee you this is gonna be harder than she looks, so. Yeah, like that. If we get the cover off. Okay, we got the cover off. <sighs> Might have been a tidgen too long. Get that up out of harm's way. Well, this door's on the fritz big time now. They fit with quite a bit of clearance. Might have got a little dark, eh, on the outside. Hmm. You know, I don't know. You just do the same thing we do. You, your mom did for you when you were a kid, you know. You, the toast was burnt. Yeah, you might just. You might just take that part. Well, like that. Some people like burnt toast. There you go. Feed the birds. Look at that. Come on, don't even worry about them little bits. Nobody, a lot of people don't even like the crust anyhow. Our lid worked perfect. Barely any soot in it. Clean the work surface. Give that the old sterile sleeve wipe and let's see here. Oh, that's pretty good. That's burnt, but. I don't want to toot my own heart here too much, but that bread's really good. Temperature in the old cooking oven might have been a little uneven, but what are you gonna do? I'd say we definitely got a chimney fire going now. Well friends, gauging by the state of things, I guess that's about all the time we have for the wooden wood stove. Did we get four hours of burn time out of her? No, but we certainly got at least four hours of entertainment. So as always, I have no idea what the next adventure might be. I just know there's gonna be one. I appreciate you sticking around, watching along, clicking that like button, thumbs up, and maybe telling your friends to subscribe as the count keeps sneaking up. We'll catch you on the next video.
Well, I don't think the wooden wood stove company is gonna have a warranty department.